Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Drew. How do you? Do well. How do you do? I do. I Excellent. Do well. Yes. Well, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Right Now, right at this moment. I'm Drew, and that is Adrian. And Adrian, it is summer. It is summer. And you can't tell. Yes. I prefer winter, but I'm embracing it. I'm just. It looks. Like it's a good look for you. Jumping right in. I still will not buy a pair of shorts, but it's okay. I will break out the Hawaiian stock. Flip flops. I have one pair of flip flops that I've had since '97. Okay. Yes. You I wear, wear them those. about twice a year, so they they're hanging in there nicely. Okay. Whereas <laughs> I go through three pairs of flip flops a summer, but that's okay. Sounds like you need to buy a better pair of flip flops. <laughs> So we are going to talk about traveling with pants, not necessarily flying, you know, big, massive vacations, but in the summer, we're usually moving around quite a bit. And while we're moving around, maybe we grab a pen, maybe we grab two pens. I don't know. So we're going to talk about what I do. We're going to talk about what Adrian does. And we'd love to hear what you do. So you travel with your pants probably more than I do. I do. I, I have a really hard time paring down how many pens Okay, so that, that's, that's my first question. How many <laughs> pens, on average, do you travel around with? Do you usually take the larger case, which is new, by the way. You just got yeah, that, right? Yeah, and what's really sad is this larger case mm -hmm. is actually my smaller pen case. Well, you've got that big Monteverde yeah, one. Yeah. Okay, so we sell both the Monteverde, was it? 30, 36. 36, okay. Yeah. The Monteverde 36, you got so that I one. So I used to travel with 36 pens at all times. You did not. I did I would take it with me everywhere. In case I didn't know what pen I wanted. Wow. But then I figured out that I was only writing with a few. And that's the Girologio Oxblood 12? 12, okay. yes. And I I pared down to some some of my favorites. Okay. That I was what I was reaching for again and again and again. And are all those inked up? Inked up? Yes. My goodness. See, I do yes. three. I have a Franklin Kristoff three case. Okay. And that this is how I okay. make sure I don't have too many pens inked up at one time. I just do three. And if I want to add another one to this, mm -hmm. I take one out, clean it, and then add another one. Because I will get it, it just it gets too much. I can't do it. I probably have 26 pens in the, inked up at the moment because I have all 12 Jinhao Sharks. Wow. All, the, all, the, all your Jinhao Sharks are inked up. With corresponding colors. I mean, that makes sense, but at the same time. Yes. Okay. Because I color code things. How many, like, the, the, the YouTube people, how many pens do you keep inked up at one time? I'm really curious about that. And, and use at the same time. Do you actively use all yours too? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I respect that. I do a lot of color coding at home. I respect that. Writing letters. So right now, are you traveling with that? This is your main yeah, traveler this is, here? This okay. is my main travel. Okay. And I have to say, I I was not a Placier fan to start. It doesn't get talked about as much as the Preppy does. It doesn't. And it's wonderful. It's a little bit more sturdy than the Preppy. Mm -hmm. So I like that a lot. Sorry. Platinum Placier. <laughs> I'm just moving this all around. For so Andy. it is more sturdy. It's aluminum. It's, it's, or it's brass rather yeah, than. Uh, I don't worry. Is it brass or aluminum? I think it's uh, brass. It's aluminum. It is aluminum? Yeah, it's very light. Okay. Um, it's got the super fine nib, which I like. Uh, I like that thinner nib mm -hmm. because I don't always have great paper. And I will right. pull out my pen. I completely agree with you there. And write with it however, whenever, whatever. Um, and I actually really like the platinum converter better. I love the platinum converter. Yeah, it's it's for for this kind of pen, and and I know a lot of people will say this is very similar to another introductory starter Japanese-made pen, the pe the Pilot Metropolitan. Yeah. Um, it's just so much better of a converter. So I've really been enjoying yeah, writing that converter is great, and it's also easy to disassemble. That's not something we yeah. often talk about is like taking apart a converter to clean it. But every now and then, something will get behind the piston, and yeah, either so you're easy. either you're out of luck, and it's just going to be there and annoy you. you. Just pop the, but that one, yeah, the, the, the uh, little the, shroud. Yep, or the, and then it pulls off, and then you can clean it, mm -hmm. and and it's great. That's so. super cool. I completely agree with you with that fine nib, though. Mm -hmm. Most of what I travel with, you know, uh, this uh, the obviously the black mat. Pilot Vanishing Point is a great option. The nib is extra fine, so it doesn't put down a ton of ink, so you can write with a wide a variety of paper version. types. However, like you mentioned, the Pilot Converter just is not going to hold a ton of ink. Yeah. With an extra fine nib, it's cool because you don't put down a ton of ink, but still for traveling, like I don't, I don't bring ink with me. I know you sometimes do, but yeah. um, I don't, so I rely on pens to travel with me, which is why I do prefer to have a uh, Homo sapiens or an Opera with me. This is the uh, Opera Crystal. They don't make these anymore, but yeah. um, any Homo sapiens, you know, big double reservoir power filler, 
this usually gets me through to you know whatever weekend trip I'm going. Yeah. I always put Lexington Gray in here because it's great for a bunch oh, of different types Lexington of paper. Lexington Gray is a fantastic ink. It, it is shades one of the best. beautifully. It writes in everything. It, it's yeah, and I didn't think I would like a gray ink. But no, I love it. I yeah. really, really, and it dries in like 10 seconds. Yeah. Like it is crazy. We don't say it's a fast drying ink because it's... Oh, it absolutely but is. But it's, it's a fast drying ink. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, fine nibs make a lot of sense. They do. Now, another one I, I take, but you know, we've talked about the sharks, but I always like to have one or two extra sharks as well. Uh, and the reason for that is people sometimes will ask about, oh my gosh, what is that? And so I like to have a shark to give to somebody. Thank you. you so wow. Welcome. Yeah. I'm going to pretend like I'm interested in this and then yes. ignore it and, and then when you ask me again I can awkwardly say, oh, oh no, yeah. this is strangers that I never, they can think what? I'm the crazy pin lady. I just give wow. them. Wow. Yeah. But it, you know, people say they're cool. They like them. I'm like, I well, expect a lot go. of these to go into um, gift hands in the holiday yeah. season. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're a perfect, perfect gift pen. But again, it's such a good writer. Yeah, yeah. As far as, especially for what you're paying for, it's yeah. shockingly now, efficient. Does your son get to play with the sharks at all? He has a gray one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Because my nephews also. Each he have... keeps it in his colored pencil box though, <laughs> and so he sometimes doesn't know it's there. But when he finds it, he gets really excited yeah. about it. And yeah. shockingly starts up every time yeah it's great like it, it gets ignored for weeks mm -hmm. but he's like oh yeah i'm just coloring some oh yeah a fountain pen blah, blah, blah. like it's nothing and i'm like oh my god like i have yeah you know hundreds of dollars like you know hundred dollar yeah. pens two hundred dollar pens that don't do that don't every start. time yeah it's crazy what about uh paper do you usually bring i've got uh, i prefer i like the little uh travelers um mm -hmm. passport and then I also have a larger Franklin Kristoff um, one. Oh, this yeah. one has the cool little uh, bookmark that I have a little owl dangly thing on. The Franklin Kristoff one doesn't. We don't sell that one, but I bought it at a pen show. It's really neat. Yeah. But this one has a cool pen loop you can buy for it. And I put a Safari on the side of it because it's resilient. It can get beat up and yeah. not really show any wear or tear. Yeah. Well, I bought the, the Quovatis Life Journal Infinite. And I am so in love with this paper. I heard it's a lot even, of good things about I, this. It's not even funny. I bookmarked one page. Not you know, you're not getting my personal diary or anything, but uh, this is the page I've been doodling for for That's a month cool of, doodle. But look, 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 look. What? Like no bleed through, nothing. That is kind of insane. Yeah. So, and also the fact you've got doodle pages and then fun calendar pages. Yeah. And, and for me, because I don't do a ton of real journaling, I just like to jot things down. Right. The amount of space they give is great. You know, on a trip, I can, you know, jot down, went here, like, went to VMFA, saw this, and then, you know, go about the rest of my day. So. That's really cool. But I've got to, I'm, I'm thinking, you have all these pens. Why on earth would you need to bring ink? Um, or do you just like having that option? I like having that option. Mostly, I like little things, so I'm totally in love with the cute little. They're adorable. The cute little travel uh, color verse. Now, pro tip: you can clean this out. You can, you know, we sell these. Oh yeah. You can clean it out. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect amount to take if you're going on like a week long vacation yeah, or that's something. That's pretty awesome. And if you don't have as many pens inked up as I do, because I can write, I can write a month's worth of things with the number of pens I have ink. Yes. If you only have three, you might need more ink depending mm -hmm. on like a week long vacation or something. And then of course, you know, our little samples are, mm -hmm. are great as well. I see that you're one of the people that buys the uh, three ring protectors Life and changer. Colors, colors those. A lot Life of folks changing. do that. I think that's a really cool little tip. Yeah. And then, I, we've got it before we go. Yeah. We've got to ask you about that. Yeah. yeah look at so this. So this is my traveler's pen. That's the very pen. definition of traveler pen And right there. I love it. I've removed the clip. It's perfect. Starts up every time. Every time. And I don't use this regularly. I keep it only inked with uh, Kaweco Black Pearl. No one complains about this pen. Yeah, it's the best. It's sturdy. And I've got a long enough necklace I can actually <laughs> do that if I need to. But you can take it off and write with it. It's just a phenomenal pen. That's so, really cool. Uh, this goes with me when I go to all my my cons my conventions absolutely i just want to see how oh, i yeah. feel with it i mean i think you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna, gonna want gonna to just... travel ah yeah yeah <laughs> guys good look guys for can you. wear it too good luck look for at him. this <laughs> this is the, the the masculinity is just yeah. radiating it is also uh retro 51 not a fountain pen always good to have on you look at that 
cake I'm and pie, and we did not plan what, that. Adrian. Boo. Boo. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> who, who has summer cake? <laughs> Nobody. Who likes summer pie? Everybody. Key lime. Anyway. Cheesecake. Good to have wide variety of paper types. Fun thing to write with. Yeah, it's great. Well, thank you for both attending this little chit chat and for letting me uh, feel beautiful. Yes, you are welcome anytime. Awesome. Well, please let us know how you travel with your pens, what cases you use, what paper you bring, whether or not you bring inks, how many you have inked up, all that good stuff. We want to hear. Thank you for joining us. Right on. Right on. <laughs>